Hey YouTubers, it's Kaushik here. Welcome to... In my last video of this series, I did a short introduction to how to apply a study program in Europe. Hereafter, I will be doing a detailed discussion about every categories that I have spoken in the last video. Without wasting them, let's jump into the video. Before applying a college in Europe, you need to understand Europe. What do you mean by understanding Europe? I'll give you an example. Not every country in Europe has a Euro currency. Do you know it? That's why this video is for understanding Europe. are basically divided into two regions, Schengen Division, Non-Schengen Division, or simply called as European Union, Non-European Union. European Union. After World War II, to ensure future peace, cooperation, and economic stability, European Union was formed. The official members of European Union in the decreasing order of population are Germany, France, United Kingdom, Italy, Spain, Poland, Romania, Kingdom of Netherlands, Greece, Belgium, Portugal, Czech Republic, Hungary, Sweden, Austria, Bulgaria, Denmark, Slovakia, Finland, Ireland, Croatia, Lithuania, Latvia, Slovenia, Estonia, Cyprus, Luxembourg and Malta. People in European Union can move across different countries within the Schengen Division seeking for a job, for tourism if the country is big or small or hot or cold. This is one of the major advantages of European Union. You might wonder what I am saying this to you. If you have a student visa in any one of these countries, you might move from one country to another country. For example, you might move from Germany to France for internship, for exchange program and also for tourism. Except the countries that are in Europe Union comes under non-European Union countries. They need special permit or visa to enter into Europe Union countries. Scandinavian countries. Countries of Northern European Union are called as Scandinavian region. Countries such as Denmark, Netherlands, Ireland, Faroe and A Islands are called are quite called as Scandinavian countries. These countries are really expensive. It's very expensive. Baltic countries. Countries that are coastline of Baltic Sea, especially Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia or called as Baltic countries. They are quite cheaper to live. Scandinavian countries, especially German. I hear a lot of people saying that German provides free tuition fee for schooling. It's true. But the monthly expense is around 800 euros, which is quite, which is not quite, which is expensive unless I tell you are a I'm rich. Let's talk money. 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 EU has its own currency, euros, used by majority, not all EU members. Certain countries like Poland, Sweden, Denmark, Hungary, Czech Republic, Croatia, Bulgaria, Romania have their own currency even though they are in EU region. This total topic is exceptional for the United Kingdom as they are moving out of European Union now. If you want a detailed video on currency in Europe, leave a like and a comment in the description area. With that said, let's move to... Here we are at the conclusion. This is what you need to know before you select a country in Europe. If you want more information, I will link down certain website in my description. Thank you guys, it's Kaushik here, signing off. I'm going to be posting I'm going to be posting a series of videos on this topic. So consider subscribing, also hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time I post a video. If you can also hit the like button if you like it. Or don't consider this. No.